Alrighty, guys, gals, non-binary pals, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. We're so glad that you're here. If you would love to join these lovely people here on the side of the screen that are here because they want to be here, <laughs> I stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm sure you know that, but if you're not here, you're missing out, all right? We have a great time. Uh, again, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Also, as you can see, the new merch. It is out now by the time you are watching this video, so click the link down in the description, pick one up. Sizes go all the way up to a 5XL, and uh, they ship worldwide. So wherever you are, you can definitely get one for yourself. Uh, we have a white shirt, black shirt, white. Uh, we have a white sweater and a black sweater, as well as stickers. So go ahead, pick that up, and be kind, you know? Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today is a U very large YouTuber. Um, she has like, how many subscribers does she have? Uh, 5.72 million subscribers. Holy smokes, that's a lot. Um, her name is Jacqueline Hill. I'm sure many of y'all know who she is. Um, she's like a beauty influencer, YouTuber. Been around for a very long time, as I've uh, learned recently. Uh, but she made a video titled, I'm Changing My Life. And in that video, she talks about how she wants to lose weight and get he more so get healthier. And if weight loss happens, then that's fine too, which I think is great. So what we're going to do is kind of go over this video and give my advice that she didn't ask for, all right? So we, I want to make it clear. She didn't ask for this advice. I'm just going to give it to her anyways. Um, but <laughs> Uh, let's go over this video, all right? Hey guys, well wow, well, that was crazy. She's yelling at me all. Insane. My career, or sorry, one second. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited. Yeah. Dog, that sweater, fire. I'm gonna be honest. Looked it up already. Expensive, okay? So I said, never mind, okay? You can just pick up this shirt instead. It's fine. They're very similar. That's <laughs> all I can say. Okay, so other than revealing and announcing products I've worked on and like having that sort of excitement, putting that aside, this is the most excited that I have been for a video since I can even remember because I've never done anything like this on my channel in my career or actually in my entire life. And I am so, so excited about it. I'm gonna dive into it, you guys. I'm starting a new series and I have no idea what I'm gonna call it, but I want you guys to help me name it something. You guys are the ones who helped me name Jack Snacks. And then also a few people were calling it Snacking with Jacqueline and I was like, all right, Jack Snacks, that's it. So I know that we can come up with a name together for this, but basically long story short, I've been talking about doing this for a really long time, but I have finally come to the place in my life where I'm genuinely ready to make major changes as far as my health, my wellness, fitness, mind, body, soul, I am just, I am so ready. I have felt ready before, but it's more of like me convincing myself, like this is something that I need to do, like I need to. So what we're seeing here is basically a large uh, YouTuber, someone that has many subscribers, deciding that they are going to do a uh, health journey vlog type of content on their channel. Weight loss, I know she, she doesn't really say that she wants to lose weight, but this is, the basis of what I want to talk about. Okay, so that's what we're going to get into, but just keep that in the back of your mind. To do this, so like people online are calling me fat. I'm like, oh, I need to lose weight. You know, or like I need to go on this crash diet or, you know, I have an event coming up and I have to look good. So let me like, you know, lock it up for the next month or six weeks, whatever it is. I've never come to the point though in my life where I'm at right now where I genuinely feel motivated and I feel excited just to take care of myself. So I have- And I can understand that, right? So a lot of us have- have been in that position where it's like, okay, I just need to lose weight for this wedding. I need to lose weight for this. I'm going to Cabo. I'm doing this. I just need to lose the weight really fast. And what, what decisions do we make when we want to lose weight very fast? Most of the time, it's not very good decisions. And then on top of that, I can't even imagine what it's like the amount of pressure that she feels and being someone from what I've, the research I've done, when she started her channel, she was a relatively straight sized, not as large person and going through gaining weight online with people not being the best, especially in a beauty community has probably been very tough. And so I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to skirt around that. That definitely would make things much harder. Okay. 
decided to document the entire process of what I am doing as I was looking for inspiration to help. Okay, so I know I just literally paused it, but that's the thing where I'm, I understand you're a content creator and you want to share all this stuff. And I think she does bring it up later. I don't remember exactly, but I just want to make it very clear to Jacqueline. I know you're watching this video, okay? <laughs> but if, if, if by some chance you do see it, I just really want to say like, be careful because like there is going to be so much crap that you're going to have to deal with. Maybe you consider this video one of one of those things, which understandable if that's how you see it. I hope that that's not what it ends up being. But there are going to be so many people that are going to try and come at you. that are trying to say, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. And also just advice from me. You're also going to get a bunch of companies that are going to try and get try are, are going to try and get you to promote their stuff please don't turn this series into you promoting uh, skinny teas or random supplements or please okay people will see right through i'm just saying to help get me into a good place there's a lot of inspiration out there for sure there is so much i mean the internet has everything you can ever look for but i felt like i hadn't really found anything other than reality tv where it's genuinely like following their journey day by day week by week you gotta start okay so i hate to break it to you jacqueline but reality tv isn't real <laughs> It's actually quite fake. Um, I would actually argue there are some pretty good thing. There are some pretty good uh, channels on YouTube that have shared their journey, but through that they have dealt with the backlash that that comes with, right? So like the biggest thing when it comes to becoming, uh, she's obviously already a huge influencer in her own right. But when we talk about um, when we talk about becoming a weight loss influencer there's a lot of negative that can come with that. People being very critical of everything you do, everything you eat, everything you decide to, to try and do. Uh, people being very critical if you end up not losing weight or maybe start gaining the weight back. Like These are all things that I hope you have thought of. And again, I'm not trying to discourage you, but just understand this is the stuff that is definitely going to happen at some point. Somewhere, and I'm starting here, and I thought, why not document it? and actually show you guys my ups, my downs, my triumphs, my failures, my good days, my bad days, and my journey to just feeling good. I am gonna be uploading weekly videos and it's not gonna look like this. It's not gonna be me in front of a backdrop. It's gonna be me living my actual real life. I wanna take you guys along with me, my day-to-day -day life, my process, you know, what I'm eating, what I'm doing as far as fitness, you know, keeping up to date on everything. My, my cheat meals, if you will, my good days, my bad days. If I'm sitting on the couch, just like, you know, eating nothing but pizza and donuts, I'm gonna be honest with you guys and really like, let you into my life. At the end of the day, I'm 31 years old. I genuinely have not worked out in four years. I have done nothing to take care of my body whatsoever. And I hate that for myself. Like I take a ton of vitamins. I, you know, I do like IV therapy sometimes. I do things to take care of myself, but really I don't stay consistent whatsoever. So that's really interesting to me is because like that's such a that's such a thing that so many people do and it's just so crazy because all of those things that she mentioned cost quite a bit of money. And so it's like again I'm not trying to sound mean but it's like so many people will first spend money on wellness before doing the stuff that's completely free. Eating better, moving a little bit, like that stuff completely free doesn't cost any extra. But I guarantee we'll make we'll have way more results than any IV therapy or vitamins that you're taking, right? Again, just trying to be constructive. I'm not trying to sound like a jerk, but this is stuff that a lot of people do, right? I am not looking to lose a certain amount of weight. I'm not looking for my body to be a certain way or look a certain way. I have absolutely nothing in mind as far as that goes. I just want to... So personally right there, I think that that's a great way to look at it. Just not being like, I have to be this weight. Just being like, I want to be healthier in general. For a lot of people, especially, uh, she's not even that overweight, but if you are overweight, by being quote unquote healthier, by making better decisions, weight just happens to come off as well through those decisions, right? feel good. I want to feel confident. And of course I want to look good. I want to be in a place where I can have a healthy pregnancy sometime, you know, hopefully in the next couple of years. I just want to take care of myself. So I figured I have the advantage of being a YouTuber, of being, you know, an influencer here on this platform. So I'm like, why not take you guys along with me and we'll see what happens. You know, in the next couple of months, my body might look the same. And if it does, it does. It's real life. Or I might lose a shit ton of weight. I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I'm going to, on the very next video, next 
next week. I'm gonna fill you in on everything. I'm going to weigh myself. I'm gonna give you my body fat measurements, exactly what I weigh, all of that jazz. I'm not though going to step on a scale every single morning and be like, oh my God, I lost. No, that's not happening because it's genuinely not about me losing weight. It's more about me just feeling really good and getting to a better place. I'm gonna show you guys everything, all the fun recipes that my boyfriend and I come up with that are healthy, healthy snacks, all sorts of stuff. We're gonna have fun with it. I'll show you my workouts. So I'm seeing people in the comments like kind of be against this idea. And like I understand where people are coming from and I'm not gonna sit here and say that's a good idea or a bad idea. For everyone, they handle these things differently. All I'm going to say is that I have seen these intentions end up just really in the long run not turning out the way that you expect it to. So again, I'm not trying to discredit you or discount you or make you feel like you can't do this, but just understand the the web that you are walking into, I guess is the best way to explain it. I'm sure <laughs> like my first workouts are going to be probably really, really, really sad and kind of like pathetic, if you will. But I'm also not going to be mean to myself because that's, I know, not going to be successful whatsoever. So I have a treadmill. I have I have weights downstairs. I have bands. I have a BOSU ball. I have enough that I need to start off and get into better shape because really I just need to start off with getting like cardiovascular health right. You know what I'm saying? Like just getting in that cardio, getting in my steps, getting my body moving because I've just been stagnant for so long. And... So again, like right here, this isn't terrible stuff that I'm hearing, right? Like you don't need to go, a lot of people when they start, they have the mentality of going from zero to a hundred. So I think that this is actually great. Understanding your limits and not feeling like you need to go do a bunch of stuff. Like I've always been a huge fan of walking, right? When you're first starting, try, trying to lose weight and you don't have, you don't have any exercise. She said she hasn't worked out basically in four years, right? You have zero experience just going on walks or even on a treadmill or whatever. That's enough. Like I personally feel like that's enough right like I think eventually you can you can step up and, and move on from that but you don't have to feel like okay I'm gonna start this diet and I also have to start this incredible in, insanely hard workout regime it's okay to start with the diet first focus on that and then just start walking a little bit get those steps up like I, I really am a fan of that a lot and it's just, it's not good. So we're gonna start off slow and I would just love to do this together. And at no point in this journey am I going to be giving you guys advice because I am not your doctor. I this right here, I love it. I love it. I'm here for this. I love this. I wish, <laughs> why can't more people have common sense? Okay, I'm not gonna yell. We're relaxing, but I, I love that. And I love to see it. You love to see it. I have no right whatsoever to tell you what to eat, what not to eat, what kind of workout to do. I'm literally just gonna tell you what works for me. You know, I'll tell you, this is my weight, this is my measurements, this is what I'm doing. Okay, this week, nothing changed. Or this week, this changed. I'm just gonna check in with you and let you guys know where I'm at and hopefully it can motivate us to get healthy because being healthy is never a negative thing. There's so many things we can make negative and we can't make health negative. And it's funny because I already have received several messages from people being like, don't document this, Jacqueline. You're going to get so much hate for trying to take care of yourself. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. There's So I wouldn't say that you're going to get a lot of hate for trying to take care of yourself. What I am trying to say is that you are just going to get a lot of opinions and a lot of people saying that you're doing this wrong, you're doing this wrong. Hey, I'm, maybe I'm one of those people. But like, it can be very overwhelming. That's all I'm trying to say. If you're okay with that, that's, that's on you. I'm not going to sit here and say what you can and can't do. I'm just trying to really like drive it home. And this is for the people watching the video. Cause I know there's a lot of people that watch these videos that think to themselves, I would love to make a YouTube channel about my weight loss. I'm not saying you can't do it, but just understand there are negatives that come along with it. And then that is only going to be exasperated times a bazillion when you are someone that has 5 million subscribers, right? Like that's a whole nother level like that. I don't even know what's like other things to hate about like look at the news there's other things for you to be angry about right got it great my overall goal is to do this for 60 days i get one cheat day a week which will be saturday or sunday and when i say cheat i will cheat i will go out to my favorite restaurants i will eat the cheesiest most carby pasta and i'll probably feel like crap afterwards and i'll love so here is where I'm going to give the opinion you, you didn't ask for. Um, I personally am not a huge fan of doing this type of dieting for weight loss because I feel like it ingrains in your head that I am doing a diet I don't enjoy 
throughout the whole week. And I only actually enjoy the cheat day that I'm doing on Saturday or Sunday, whatever day you choose. And I'm going to like live for those days. That personally to me is not a good way to go about it. I'm not saying that you can't eat foods that you enjoy, but I would just like to think of them as foods that are part of your diet that you maybe aren't having as often as you were before. But when you go into it being like, I'm going to be strict, strict, strict for the week, eat very, very clean, and then on Saturday or Sunday, I'm just going to freaking go ham. I'm going to feel like, like you said, like garbage. I personally am not a huge fan of that, and I have seen that not work super well for a lot of people. You can do you. You can do whatever you want. I would reconsider this structure as to how you're losing, how you lose weight. That's all I'm saying, but you do you. Love every second of it. So one cheat day, I don't want to be that cheesy person, but I don't even want to call it a cheat because I'm not over here trying to be like, I'm dieting. Like I'm not going to deprive myself to the point that I'm crying. You know, <laughs> next episode, I'm just like bawling my eyes out. I'm not going to deprive myself. You know, I'm going to be strong. I'm going to push through what I know is healthy and what I know my body needs and doesn't need. I'm going to be strong. But at the same time, I'm not going to fully cut out dairy. I'm sorry. There's just some things that like, this is so random, but <laughs> it's funny that now, because just the world that we live in, and I played a part in this because I cut out dairy for quite a while, it's funny that now when people try and lose weight, that's like a thing. I'm going to cut out dairy. Like, that's how I'm going to lose weight. Like, if you want to have dairy and it doesn't disagree with you, you can absolutely have dairy. Like, you shouldn't feel like you can't have dairy. <laughs> Like I can't do, and I'm just being realistic with myself because I have done crash diets in the past where I've lost a ton of weight, but the dairy is the thing that ends me. I have to have it. So I will allow myself to have dairy a couple times a week, but other than that, I'm- You should allow yourself to have dairy as much as you feel like you want it, as long as you're in a caloric deficit. It shouldn't really matter, right? And again, I know that it seems like I'm giving advice to her, but I'm just trying to make these points for the other people that are watching for y'all, right? You can have dairy. If, if it doesn't disagree with you, it's okay, you know? And if, if it doesn't disagree with your ethical things either, it's okay, right? I'm going to be making a lot of changes. Just everything very fresh, a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruits, like green smoothies, proteins. And I know there's gonna be people out there who are gonna be like, don't do this, don't do that. And that's fine, your opinion, you can leave it in the comments, absolutely. And if what I do the next couple- Okay, well, I'm gonna make a video. All right, hopefully you're okay with this one as well. <laughs> Once doesn't work, then maybe I will change and shift gears and listen to what you guys have to say in that sense. But for now, I'm just going to eat basically what God has given us. Basically anything that is not processed. And we'll see what happens. We're just gonna start, we're gonna see what happens. This is a journey, this is not a diet. This is a lifestyle that I want to like really implement. We will end up seeing what happens in the next 60 days. And if 60 days from now, I look the exact same and I feel like shit and nothing's changed, then I'll come up with a new plan. You know? So with that, right, I hear that. And it's like, well, there's no reason that you have, you should force yourself to wait 60 days. Like if, if you feel like things aren't going well, like don't force yourself to do something that you're not enjoying. Right. Like, again, you've said yourself, this is supposed to be a healthy lifestyle. So 60 days, first off, isn't enough time to really change much anyways. Right. Like you can definitely start having better habits, but like think of it as I am changing the way that I live for the rest of my life. And that might sound kind of scary, but it's like you have to find things that you enjoy doing that are no longer going to feel like pressure and it's going to feel annoying and it's going to feel like you have to do this. Instead, it's like, this is what I do, right? That's the way I like to look at dieting or changing your lifestyle. You know, but let's just see. I have travel coming up in just two weeks, which is gonna be so hard because I have a back-to-back -back photo shoot out in LA and LA has the best food ever. We'll see what happens there. I will document everything for you guys and just keep it real. I just ask that you guys come to this series with kindness, kindness to yourself, kindness to me and the things I have to say. I know there's gonna be good days, there's gonna be bad days. I know there's gonna be times where I'm like, I feel so fat. And I don't want you guys to take that and be like, Oh my God, me too. Like, I want you to allow me to be a real person and express myself in this series and get through what I need to get through in order to get to a good place. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know it's gonna get really dark before it gets light because that's how everything works in life. And I'm accepting that. So please come to the series with love. And I hope that this inspires you just to do whatever it is for yourself. And you know, if it's just going to bed at a better time, you know, or switching, you know, having a glass of wine with a glass of tea, you know, or journaling in the morning, whatever it may be that I'm gonna talk about in this series, 
series. I just hope that we can inspire each other. And I'm so excited to hear about all of your goals and your encouragement. And we can just, we can do this together. We can feel better together. Mind, body, and soul. I'm looking so forward to it. I'm so excited. I'm so passionate about this. And I just think that it's the perfect time in my life for me to get healthy and start this journey. And if you feel like it's your time as well, then let's start together. But I do know one thing at the end of the day. So again, all of, all of this stuff, like, at the end of the day, like I'm excited for it and I hope that this all works out. So I, I know it might seem like I'm just being negative or like being mean. I'm trying to point out the things that maybe I would change because I want her to be successful. Like I think that that would be awesome and I'm sure she'll be happier and that's great. Right. So like all of this stuff, I'm like, that's great. She has five million subscribers. There are going to be a lot of people watching that that will be inspired. The reason I do these videos is because hopefully they end up reaching to the person that I'm talking about in the video and they see it. And maybe they do make some changes because those five million people um, are going to be watching the videos. And so maybe they'll get better information because they watched my video. Is that me being a little uh, <laughs> thinking I'm the best? Maybe <laughs> I don't actually think that, but it's like. I want the good information to be shared with as many people as possible. And if that means making these videos and hopefully they see it, then that's what I want to do, you know? Hey, if you're not feeling confident and motivated to change your life in that way, it's just not gonna happen. Don't push yourself until you feel ready. Maybe that's a terrible piece of advice, but that's how I feel because I tried pushing myself the past couple of years. It wasn't real. I mean, that's good advice. Uh, this is stuff that I always say. like. When it comes to losing weight, people are like, I want, I want to help my brother, my sister, my mother, my dad, whatever. And there's nothing that you can do for someone to make them lose weight until they are ready. So I agree with that 100%. Realistic. And I knew, I knew subconsciously, I'm like, this is not going to stick. But I'd still be like, I can do this. And it would last one week. And then I'd be like, I can't do it. So like, just, you know, wait until you find that moment where you're like, it's my time. You know? I'm the click moment is what I like to call it. I want to get healthy and I want to be good for myself. So yeah. That's it. One more thing, one of the reasons why I am doing this is because I had a blood panel done that showed extreme inflammation in my body. I'm very inflamed right now, um, like to the point that I even have developed rosacea in my face. So what she explains here is it sounds like this was her click moment, again, which is what I like to call it. So it's very interesting because health for a lot of people ends up being a click moment. So it's, it's kind of interesting hearing this. It's just, it, it's insane. And with my weight gain, I also get extremely hot. Like right now, I'm not kidding. I have sweat sitting in between my boobs. I have sweat on my stomach. Like, I mean, same, <laughs> like always, but I'm, I'm a sweaty boy, so it's all good. I just sweat all the time. And my doctor said it's because of my weight gain. My periods have been so awful. I've been having the worst cramps I've ever had in my entire life. They are debilitating. They ruin my entire day for like three days. My cramps take me out. I went to my OBGYN about it. I'm like, what is going on? They did all these tests that were so painful. Come to find out it's because I, I gained weight and she had this whole thing behind it of how I gained a lot of weight very quickly and my periods just, it, it's a whole thing with estrogen. And so stuff like this, when you, I, I know I'm kind of going all over the place, but this is real, right? This is a real side effect of what weight gain can do and just not taking care of your body, right? So it might not just be because you gained weight, but it's the things that you have done, the life, and I'm not trying to be like that you have done, but it's just in general, the things that we do, the lifestyles we lead, when we end up gaining weight, usually are not the healthiest things. And so while we are doing those things, there are side effects to the body. So it's very frustrating when people try to act like, your weight has no correlation to your health because I feel like it's just missing the point of the reason your weight has gained is usually because of the lifestyle that you are living and the things that you are doing or not doing, right? And so that's what she is dealing with, which sucks. Like it really does. And you know, the lady parts, the endometrial canal, it's all this shit. And all the bad things that are happening to my body are because I'm not taking care of it. This is why I've always said, I personally feel like it's, uh, harder for women to lose weight and all that stuff because y'all's hormones are just crazier than dudes and it sucks and sorry. <laughs> Light bulb, ding. It's gotten to the point where I'm like, all right, I'm inflamed, I'm having horrible periods, I'm sweating all the time, and all the doctors are like, it's because you gained a lot of weight and you need to take care of yourself. I have a lot of stuff in my life that's motivating me to get to a better place. Cute, simple, right? I think I have talked your ear off enough in this video, just the introduction to the series. Again, please help me name this series because I don't know what to call it. And I don't want to just make it like 
healthy vlog. Like that's lame. Like it's gonna be more fun than that. So let me know. I can't wait. I'm looking so forward to this. I just like, I just see in the next month or two, me just feeling so good. And I'm looking so forward to it. Like I just remember the way I felt before, God, it really was the lipsticks. That's so weird to say, but my lipsticks really, so for the, this is going to be a very basic under, uh, explanation for those of you guys that don't know what she's talking about here is she had some scandal where lipsticks were like had hair in them and there was this huge deal and became this huge thing in her life, obviously, which now she's saying that that was kind of the catalyst as to what made her gain the weight. I'm not saying whether or not that's correct or not, but that's what she's talking about here if you don't know. I allowed that situation to put me into the worst place mentally, like ever. I just was like, I am drinking, I am eating macaroni and cheese, three corn dogs at one o'clock in the morning, say less. Like I just did whatever I wanted for so long. I never stopped for a second to really be like, we need to make a serious change. I'd be like, I'm eating super healthy today. And then the next day I'd be like, I don't care. I'm eating whatever I want. I'm over it. I'm not depressed anymore. I feel really good mentally. I, I just want to feel good everywhere. I want to feel healthy again. I'm done. I love you. Thank you so much for watching this. Don't forget to help me name the series and I'll see you next week. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Bye guys. All right, so here we go. We're about to see a trailer of the, uh, of the series, okay? Let's see how it goes. I might have to pause it quite a bit because I'm not trying to get copyright, you know, because I use music and whatnot. Day one. Uh! It is my intention to start my day with this every single day. <laughs> an entire storage unit that is filled to the brim of clothes that as I have gained weight, I've like put it all aside. We are clearing out the entire unit today. Bro, that's wild, but understandable. I mean, especially she probably gets free clothes like constantly. Whew. And then imagine like that would suck getting free clothes all the time that you can't fit in. That would suck. I want to eat a bowl of pasta. That's what I want to do. I've been on here for only 12 minutes. I'm so out of breath. And it's not improving my mood. Google is a fucking liar. Turn it off. I dreamt about food. So when I see stuff like that, I'm like, okay, so you've been on it for 12 minutes and it's very, very hard, right? So what, what I see is like, why not s just slow it down a little bit? Don't make it so incredibly difficult. Um, and like try, try to enjoy it in some aspect, right? And again, I know I'm, I'm nitpicking, but this is all, obviously this is all that's there right now all night long. This is disgusting. I need to do my measurements right now. It's a girthy neck. Seeing measurements for some reason is way more than my weight. Feeling discouraged. <laughs> what now? Three batches of fries. Mm, so nice. So sweet. Oh, I'm losing my mind right now. I love salsa. I love guacamole. I'm becoming what I eat. Bruh, I'm sorry. Does she have guacamole on her face right now? This is wild. I need some chips. I woke up this morning at six o'clock in the morning with like some of the worst cramps of my life. Back of my legs are on fire. The DMs just are so, they're just so annoying and so frustrating. When you allow yourself to have like something super unhealthy, now that's like all you want. Uh. That right there is so true. So true. This is why for a lot of people, the whole cheat idea doesn't work well because all it does is every every week you end up having a day that reminds you of all the stuff that you're missing out of right and then that's how your mind sees it so that's why i'm not a huge fan of cheat days good food bad food i don't like looking at it that way because you're always going to be missing the food that you quote unquote don't are, are not allowed to have anymore these jeans were fitting me so perfect. I just put them on and they are so tight, I can barely button them. When are we gonna meal prep? We can do it tonight. We realistically are not gonna meal prep tonight. You were playing your video game and I just was like, let's find recipes and you just weren't listening to me. It's like you go like- I'm sorry. I, I could never do the crying on camera thing. I just can't, I can't do it. Like, <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I, maybe I'm a terrible person, but I just, if I was crying, I'm turning the camera off. I'm sorry. Two steps forward and four steps back, and I just hate it. It causes me more anxiety and more stress and more depression. Oh, I hate this. If I was taking care of myself, I wouldn't feel like this. All right, so that's the, that's the trailer. Intense, dude. Um, you know, I get it. It's for YouTube, but... At the end of the day, losing weight and like getting healthy, it's not sexy. It's it's not a great, honestly, from 
like what I've told you guys, the information I share, it's not that interesting. Um, not that much changes. Like it's it at the end of the day, it's just it's really not that interesting. And so it can be difficult to make a series of it. I hope that it works well. I hope that she finds, you know, she ends up losing the weight and and being able to do this well. Like 100%, I really do hope that that happens. But I just wanted to share some of the things that I, um, some of the things that I, you know, see maybe not, might not be working or might be cause a problem. Um, but yeah, those are just my thoughts. Best of luck to you. These are my thoughts. Hopefully it doesn't upset you if you end up seeing it. Um, but like I said, good luck.